Hello everyone, this is Tina. In this video, we're gonna talk about bi-directional versus two unidirectional. Because so far, all the video we are talking about is unidirectional. But when we go through the bi-directional, we have to be clear what is actually bi-directional and what is two unidirectional. Because a lot of people get confused about this thing. Let's uh, give one example, okay. Suppose, here, let's still using the person uh, address, uh, the example. We have a person one, okay, and we have person two, okay. And here, we have address, uh, A, D, D, R, address one, and we have address two. So what is a bi-directional? Bi-directional, which means a person one will have association with address one. Person one contains address, and also address belongs to person one, right? This is a bi-directional, which means a person one has address one, and address one also has a reference to person one. But what is this is called a bi-directional. Okay? And now what is a, uni, a two unidirectional? I have a person one and I have address one. And I have person two, I have address two. So person one has a relationship with address. This is a one direction, right? And address have a relationship with another person. So in this case, it's not bi-directional. It's a two unidirectional. Got, a, got this idea, which is a person one has a relationship with address. If it's bi-directional, address should contain person one. But in our case, address contains the person two. So in this case, it's not bi-directional. It's uh, two unidirectional. This is uh, one direction, which is unidirection. And this is one direction, which is uh, unidirection. So in this case, it's a uh, two unidirection. And when we design our table, especially when we map to bi-directional, it's gonna it's gonna happen in some cases. It's not bi-directional. It's gonna be un two unidirectional. Let me show you the uh, scenario. Okay. <clears throat> so two unidirectional. When uh, we know here, if I have a public. Um, yeah, I cannot remove. Interesting. Okay, here I have a class person. Okay, and here I have a class address. Okay, and uh, suppose I just have ID, and here also have ID. Okay, to save my time, and here I have a collection of address. And when we here, we have a person addresses, okay, and a person here. And when we annotate with one too many, what's gonna happen? If I do like it now, it's gonna create a person table, right? And with one column is ID. And it's gonna be big int 20. And also it's gonna create an address table. And with one column is ID. One too many by default gonna have a join table. Okay, join table. The table name suppose is called a person address. And it's gonna have uh, two column. The first one is what? A person ID. 
second one is what address ID right so if I just do like now when we run it's gonna have these three tables and now if I add a many to one here what's gonna happen many to one means add a, a foreign key in the address so in this case under my address I'm gonna have another column which is the foreign key a person ID okay so now we have uh, two ways to uh, we have two places to store the relationship between the person and the address so now let's store let's take a look at this one okay for this case it will gonna create a two unidirectional case suppose I have uh, information to be stored like a store suppose now I store from person side I have a person ID is one okay and here I have address one okay how what which okay what should I do okay let me using another color okay sorry sorry let me using another color to make it clear suppose now when I save the, our information I save on person side when I save person I will save the address it's gonna use in this table right so now I have a person ID one and uh, I the for the person I have address one and uh, then it's gonna have a relationship on this person and ID gonna be one and the one here okay suppose when I save this person it also have another address the primary key is two so we're gonna have another column one two another record one two here right so now later on when I change when I change update address I also update a person so in this case what's gonna happen I update this uh, address to have a person three so it was uh, what should I do this one is the ID and then we have the the, the 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 person ID here okay so here by default when we save using the person from person side this uh, person ID here is a noun right and now I using an update update on address side when I update it on address side, it will change the person to be three. So in this case, we create a two unidirectional relationship because if I search value from the person side, I want to find uh, how many addresses associated with the person with the person ID one. I will see the person ID one will have address one and will have address two. But now from the address side, I want to see how which person this address is associated. You will see from the address side, the one will have the person is a three. So here it doesn't match from person side. You say address one, address two belongs to the person. Okay. Person one, you have address one and address two, right? And here I'll have person three. From person one side, you say per address one, address two belongs to the person one. Okay. Now from the address side, this is a data from address side. Address side for the address one, it belongs to person three. So you have this one here. Okay, so in this case, it's not unidirectional, it's not bidirectional. Instead, we have uh, two unidirectional. Here, this one is uh, one unidirectional. And this one is uh, one unidirectional. So it's not bidirectional, it's two unidirectional. But uh, for our case, person and address, it's uh, bidirectional. Here and here is bidirectional. So we have to solve the problem. And to solve the problem, the solution is to using mapped by, which means here I have a mapped by equals the key here is this person. What does mapped by means? Mapped by means don't do anything on my side. 
Okay, don't do anything on my side, which means when Hibernate is trying to map a person into the table, he will just ignore this address. What does it mean? It means don't generate this person address extra table. Instead, generate the relationship using this side. And one many to one by default is a foreigner key. So in this case, we don't have this table. We, we only have the relationship according to this foreigner key. So in this case, we have a bidirectional. When I want to find the address belongs to this person, we through this foreigner key. And when from address, I want to find the person, it also through this foreigner key. So in this case, it's a bidirectional in the database. Okay, using mapped by. But for this video, uh, I hope you understand the bidirectional and the two unidirectional. This is very important. And for the mapped by, we will talk about uh, also in the next video. Okay, so that's it for this uh, uh, video about uh, unit bidirectional and uh, two unidirectional. Very important. Okay. So thank you for watching and uh, see you next time. Bye-bye.